so you can become like the hobgoblin on the spinner, but you can't make the fetch quest happen in two seconds? No, you still gotta track down each and every little bug in this quest here. I think I've got most of them, though. Yeah, I only have half. I wish you could kidnap on me. Oh. Well, you got the, uh, the town area, and then you got the, uh, the other area. Yeah. Of course, the other Remember, area. Remember, Link, with great power comes... Great Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? <laughs> <laughs> So when you're dog link, do you get a special item called the red rocket? Wolf <laughs> <sighs> oh. link does not consistently make jumps. Then I gotta do this. Fifty-eight comments on my YouTube video, almost all of them telling me how retarded I am for not getting Red Supra's genius. <laughs> Wait, what is this? Did, did you act? What? I think I need to close that. A lot of those are like ironic <laughs> comments, though. I'm not so sure. There's a lot of videos I'm making on YouTube. A, uh, just so you guys know, I'm making a competing stream where I'm just Retsu praying this stream. <laughs> huh. Great job crawling in the door there. Oh, five. Oh yes. How about I just spend three hours defeating this boss? I'd rather lick my own testicles and watch it. I oh, will. Rather do that than anything. What link can Someday the yoga lessons will pay off. <laughs> this game inspired me to do that. <laughs> I wish I had more luck changing around all the, uh, the files with the textures and the animations in this game. Really not a lot I could do. Yeah, so instead of a dog, Link can turn into, like, a parrot. You should just grab noise. the generic textures that come with 3D Studio masks. And assign them to random objects in the game. Why don't you just make your own version of Twilight Princess? The way you would have wanted, wanted it to be. Code it in Flash. <laughs> or do it in RPG Maker, make it a goon project. Post a thread immediately. Now imagine how awesome life would be if you had that spinner. Even when I'm stopped, it looks like I'm moving. <laughs> oh, oh shit, I'm late for work. I would die in like five seconds though. So would the thousands of other people. <laughs> the learning curve is like instant death. Another case just gone. with the second tower. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like surfing or riding a bicycle. Deadly blades on it. <laughs> All you gotta do is get a surfboard and glue a bunch of jellyfish to it. <laughs> Dozens of dolphins were killed today. <laughs> what kind of jellyfish? You're a kanji? Would you please pass the jellyfish? <laughs> okay, so this is the one I saved for last. God, I'm gonna go to the beach just this summer just so I can say that. <laughs> In Australia. This, this building is the bomb warehouse. For the bomb shop. Is it the bomb diggity? And the uh, electro bug just. Answer the question. question. Yes. Yes, what? It is in fact the bomb diggity. Keep out barns? What does Noble have to say about this? A lot of explosives in here. Mm hmm. Must be a Taco Bell. There's also a open flame. That's a good idea. Open flame. Yeah, we've definitely talked about. We've done this puzzle before. So. 
Definitely a Taco Bell. <laughs> Flaming sticks on the ground? Taco Bell. Did Minnie just get you? Pretty much. There's a dog carrying that stick to the furnace. Oh, Taco Bell. <laughs> Actually, the movie was more like somebody carrying a dog to the furnace. Or Taco Bell. Bell. I really, really love how those bugs are dead and after the explosion happens. Are so these like the spirits of people? No, those are just um, random chunks of the power held by the spirit of light. In bug form. Yeah. That dog's legs can take some abuse. Hmm. Gora. Now that you guys are all like, oh, you know, internet owned by advertisers and stuff, do you have to cut to commercial breaks during your streams? I think no, that we just use right? subliminal advertising. Subliminal advertising? Let me think over that while I drink my Pepsi Cola. Hang on, I need to take off my Skechers sneakers. They're too comfortable and distracting me. I think we did our, our we already did our requisite uh was it uh product placement playing for Pepsi Man. When I see Minda, I know it's a good time to take out my flashlight. <laughs> Well, on the subject of advertising, I was reading a uh, front page article on the uh, North Korean uh, pro website, and Google AdSense came up with uh, a Korean dating site. Just in case you want to date Koreans? Yeah, Korean Cupid. <laughs> it was actually kind of funny. We tried to score a contract with Trojan Condoms, but they looked at our demographic and then laughed us out of the building. <laughs> Until when I saw those Korean girls, I sure launched my missile into space. <laughs> Mine crashed disastrously into the ocean. <laughs> that, that was a new Mine made the United thing. States laugh at me. Uh, there are these. <laughs> I let them refine my fuel rods. <laughs> oh, they love them. Oscilloscope? <laughs> no, this is how you unlock new moves for, for Link. First you have to be a wolf, then you have to find the Howling Stone, then you play the song with the Howling Stone, and you go to this realm, play the same exact song again, then you listen to this horribly modulated wolf noises. <laughs> yeah, I think I have a plastic ghost that hangs from the ceiling and plays this song at Halloween. Yeah. It also vibrates and jumps around. And then, on some I random part the of the map... skeleton that sings Soul Man. Yeah, some random part of the map now will have a wolf, and then you can go over there as a human and learn a new, uh, new move. Is it always random? It, well, it's, it's predetermined by whatever's right. going on in the game. But it's, it's essentially random. It's not like the music does anything in, like in all these older games. It's just for how to beat a comic. Ah, this part's cool. Deathman? Yeah. I wonder what's there. 
Why, it's Yellowstone National Park. It's old smelly. <laughs> you think Death Mountain would sell well as a national park? I think that Hyrule needs some better real estate agents. <laughs> what a nice name for this place. Yeah. Some family friendly fun and camping at Death Mountain. <laughs> Don't worry, some developer would buy it up and rename it like Ocean View Valley Riverside. We call this a a 55 plus condominium complex. <laughs> Honestly, I would just turn Death Mountain into a big strip mall. <laughs> a vertical strip mall. Hmm. Would you have to strip to get into it? Duh. That's how we do things in the south. How about you lynch people who take their clothes off? You're gonna come into my strip mall, you better show some fuzz, buddy. <laughs> now put all this oil all over yourself and Try on these sneakers. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that's a, that kind of talk would get you dragged behind a truck. <laughs> that's kind of the goal of any strip mall, is it not? <laughs> yeah, so the area we're exploring here is the uh, place where the Gorons live. Seems like they got a little little res reservation off the, on the edge of the world. They're gonna build Gorons a casino. Like Death Mountain, <laughs> more like the morons, right, guys? Yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah. high five. Pop a brewski to the bros. I also like the concept that these guys are just constantly talking to themselves. So when you go listen, they've got plenty of the same. No, shut up! I'm trying to attack an enemy. Side of the thing yeah, we'll get used to it because it's gonna be around. What's with the, the muted trumpet noise when you kill something? Just a very lonely orchestra following Link wherever he goes. <laughs> <This> muted trombone. <coughs> Please pay attention to me. <laughs> Fun fact: the muted trombone is the most perverted instrument possible. <laughs> <laughs> If you have muted trombone music following you, the chances are you're wearing a filthy raincoat. <laughs> We're going to a southern strip mall. <laughs> one and the same. One and the same. Absolutely. Nice. I did it on purpose. I did get a, do a good job of making Wolf Link fight like a wolf. He just kind of savages his enemies. But is he hungry like the wolf? Yeah. He bites into everything. He's a Snickers bar? Is he lost in the crowd? I don't know about that. I don't get it. Me neither. I'm trying to think of the way the wolf getting both started into a pun, but it's not happening. Death Mountain's exploding. Yeah, Smell like I sound, I'm lost in the crowd, and I'm hungry like the wolf. Oh, those are the lyrics. Straddle the line, discourse and rhyme, I'm on the hunt after you. Speaking of hungry like the wolf, um, I told this story in the chat a second ago, but did you hear about the dog who ate the girl's face off? Nope. Like in that movie Face Off? <laughs> it's kind of like that, except not at all. She didn't switch with Nicolas Cage? No. No, she was trying to commit suicide, so she took some sleeping pills. So she passed out on her couch, and her uh, dog, which is a black lab, was worried about her. So he started licking her, trying to wake her up. And then nothing was happening, because so he was passed out from pills, so the dog was getting all agitated. And so the dog started, you know, clawing at her, and then got a little more aggressive, and so eventually he started bleeding, or she started bleeding, and then the dog was like, it's dinner time! So the dog started, you know, 
munching on her face, and then eventually things kind of took off from there. And uh, <laughs> how do they know all this? Was somebody standing there watching? <laughs> how do they know the dog just didn't bite the face the first thing? Because the dog gave a hands-on account of what happened. <laughs> Deposition. Yeah, but eventually the dog gave up or something, or he got full, and so the girl woke up and. She didn't know what happened, so she was like, man, I'm going to smoke a cigarette. And then she's like, oh, I can't. My mouth's missing. <laughs> cigarette just kind of fell out, and then she looked in the mirror and was like, oh, my, everything below my nose isn't there like it was before I passed out. How drunk was she if she couldn't feel the pain? She, was she wasn't pills. drunk. She was just hopped up on pills. Yeah. Maybe she made up the story to save face. Oh. <laughs> uh, maybe she wanted to have a lot of face time with the media. Uh. Maybe her attitude was a little too in your face. Yes, I think you should just shut up now and save face, because it's getting kind of embarrassing. I already did save face. You should just face the consequences. I just want that dog to come and face me personally so I can prosecute it. I'm just kidding, the dog was put down. <laughs> I guess she's gonna have to face the music. There's also this Indian girl who was working some fields or something, and um, I don't know what the machine was, but it got caught in her face, caught on her face, and it kept going, and basically it just went, <laughs> just kind of tore her face right off. <laughs> huh? And then Nicolas Cage was like, "So that's how we did it in the movie." <laughs> Is that your Nicolas Cage impression? Put her on a boat and took her to the nearest hospital, which was three hours away, and they managed to reattach her face. There's but it was upside face. down. It was upside down, and it was on her stomach. <laughs> but otherwise, it worked fine. <laughs> Did it tell anybody to start the reactor? <laughs> Anyway, those are my face stories for the day. I appreciate it. I'm glad they found her face, though. It probably would have just ended up in, like, a bag of tea. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody would have just been making a cup of tea and be like, Oh, this tastes like face. <laughs> this tastes like a young Indian woman, sir. You just discovered the secret ingredient. Maybe it's like uh, the golden ticket, where if you find a face in your food, you have to tour, like, feet or something. Go, hurry up home. This is the real way to navigate right here. Yeah, and you can see the end of the world. I'd like to point out that Link would experience severe brain trauma after going through what he just did. How, uh, how so? Well, if you're... <sighs> Whiplash? Uh... I was going to say that because you were overwhelmed at the sense of how awesome that was. 